Nowadays, thanks to social media, people gladly share every detail of their life. If you don't know anything about someone, it almost seems strange. Therefore, we are compelled to seek explanations anytime we learn about someone who went above and beyond to conceal anything or who merely experienced an unexplainable occurrence. Cinema has been wonderful at handling these real-life issues through reality or fiction and filling in the gaps with deft storytelling to offer some type of closure. In that vein, let's look at three enigmatic individuals whose tales would make fantastic films. Ray Gricker. A district attorney, Ray Gricker makes a final contact to his live-in girlfriend to expressly inform her of his whereabouts before inexplicably disappearing under suspicious circumstances. The following day, his cell phone and car are discovered abandoned in a neighboring town's antique small parking lot. His laptop and hard disk are discovered in a river a few months later. He was looking up how to delete hard disks on their home computer when his girlfriend noticed it. The man nearly vanished, there are no leads or hints. Do you think you would see a movie like that? Ray Gricker, the district attorney for Center County, abruptly disappeared as described on April 15, 2005. 17 years later nobody seems to be able to explain what happened to him. Some say he allegedly orchestrated his disappearance in order to begin a new life. Others claim that he committed suicide, a claim that Gricker's former live-in girlfriend vehemently refutes. Although Gricker was declared legally dead in July 2011, the case has not yet been resolved. We most likely won't ever learn the full truth of Ray Gricker's fate. The Westfield Watcher. A married couple buys the house of their dreams in Westfield, New Jersey. They intend to move in with their three young children after making some repairs to the house. Seems ideal, doesn't it? Well, things quickly become gloomy. The husband receives a bizarre letter in the mail a few days prior to the transfer. The letter begins by welcoming the family to the community. Then it informs them that the house is under surveillance and has been for many generations, and that they are unaware of what is happening inside the walls of their new home. The letter is dated and signed, The Watcher, and it is just the start of a horrifying tale. Beginning in 2014, the Westfield Watcher terrified the home's owners. He sent a lot of letters, referring to them as, young blood, threatening men, women, and particularly children. The Watcher also spoke of the terrifying outcomes that might befall anyone who resides in the home. The neighborhood was in chaos and fear. The Watcher was the target of numerous inquiries, charges, and even legal actions. The house's owners never moved in, and in 2019 they finally sold it at a loss. The identity of the Watcher has never been made public. Having said that, this tale begs to be turned into a detective movie. The Watcher, a horror movie from 2016, had a comparable plot. The imaginary owners of a new home were similarly terrorized by messages written by a mystery figure known only as, The Raven. Later, Netflix purchased the film adaptation rights to a New York Magazine piece on the true story in late 2018. Lori Erica Ruff. On Christmas Eve 2010, Lori Erica Ruff, 42, shoots herself in the driveway of her in-laws after exhibiting odd behavior for several months that caused her husband to leave her. When her husband opens a lockbox in their former home after her funeral, he discovers a startling truth, his wife's previous name, Becky Sue Turner, was reportedly Lori Erica Ruff. Naturally, the police start investigating her past right away. They learn that Becky Turner, whose birth certificate was kept by Lori, passed away at the age of two in a home fire. Who was this woman, then? And from where did she originate? Despite the mystery surrounding Lori Erica Ruff's genuine identity being eventually resolved six years after she committed suicide, nothing is known about her past. Most of her life before she adopted the name Becky Turner in 1988 is still shrouded in uncertainty. In reality, we don't know much about this enigmatic woman. Well, this was the story of these three individuals. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more content like this. Stay tuned for the next one.